Hi everybody, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to show a very important UI components called tree view. How to use tree view component to show the information in a tree view mode, like hierarchical mode. Like if you see this screen, if you see this screenshot, this is how the tree view looks like. So let's see how this tree view can be created in Visual Builder. So let's get started. So here, let me okay so this is one of my applications okay so here what we did we have one skill master table where we have all the skill related data like admin dba sales engineer java experience architect and then we have an employee where we where we have uh the employee skill uh collection which tells yes this employee has a particular a particular skill so we can use those tables employee and skill master to show the data in a hierarchical view so here before i get into this let me show you how this tree view component works so this is one of the uh, uh, this is one of the examples in the v jet cookbook and if you see here there's an example uh, here right so you see blogs you can see this is like the tree view looks like so how it is created so first of all we have to create if you see here we have to create a array tree data provider in in the javascript which accepts few of the this is like a, a class array tree data provider that we have to build which takes a array okay array of data and then what is the key attribute that we need to show and it takes a couple of more uh, parameters that we can give so let's do one this let's do this thing let's try to create uh, this array data provider all right so before i create it let me create uh, one page here in this application let's say art uh, review and create all right here what i am going to do i am going to create a type first of all from this skill master all right go here and create a type let's say from and point and use this business object skill master and let's say this guy and next so i will choose the skill id and from the employee collection items let's say uh, id first name last name email address age and qualification that is what i am going to take under that employee collection all right so it will create a skill master type and finish all right now let me create a array type variable here let's say three view array or let's say skill master array master array and this will be of array type create and i will choose array item type as my skill master type all right now let me go ahead and then create our event listener we'll use that vb enter next and let's say on load i'm going to create an action chain on load where I'm going to call this skill master a business object to get all the skills, right? So here I will use that call rest. Select and business object, skill master, and I will use it skill master and next. All right, here there's a one more thing. When you call the skill master, you also would like to get the employees of a particular skill. So for that, if I go back to my skill, master table and if i go to the overview here you see employee collection if you use this employee collection then only you will be able to get the employee so click uh, copy this cancel let me go to the endpoint and skill master get many if i go to the test and if i send request so here you can see i will be able to get the skills but here i am not able to get the employ under a particular skill so if you want what you have to do you have to use that parameter expand employee collection 
and let's send request again. So here you can see you are also getting the employee collection, okay, of a particular skill. Now go back to your employee tree view component and here you have to set the parameter expand here and then employee collection. If you don't do this, you will not be able to get the employees under it. So make sure it is set now. All right, now use that assign variable and the result will be stored into this. I will do this using that assign action. Click on that assign. All right, and result, this guy, body, and here, I'm going to assign this item to this skill master array. All right, so I will have the skill master array save. Now I'm going to build that JavaScript function here. Let's say build tree view, which will accept a tree, tree array, right? All right, now here, let's do one thing. Let's copy this. All right, and let's put it return and this guy. I have also import this array data provider. How we can do this? So array data, array tree data provider. So you can say array tree data provider here. So let me put it like this. Copy this and put it here. And also put here. All right. Now here you can see I will pass this tree here. So I don't need it. I need to put it here. All right. What I'm going to do this. Expect word says. Right. I don't need this guy here. All right. Now here you see it takes all right just to all right, so here you see it takes uh, this guy here. All right, so it says key attribute. So there are two more attributes that I'm going to pass here, comma. One is called key attribute scope, siblings, meaning I'm also going to get the siblings and child attribute. Which child attribute you would like to get? Employee collection dot items, meaning when you come here and then employee collection, Employee collection and then send request. You can see employee collection dot items. That is what you would like to fetch. All right. And it will return me the array tree data provider. That is what I need to bind with my tree view component. All right. Go back to the action. And now I'm going to call this function. Function name is a build tree view and whatever uh, 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 I will pass that array to this function. So click here, let's say a skill master array and say whatever result will come, I will assign into another variable here and I will create a variable, let's say pre my view and I will treat this as a any type create and whatever result will come from the function I will put it here that's it now I will use that comp this variable to assign to that tree view component now go to the web page designer and here search your component called tree view tree view is a component right and now go to the properties go to the data and here I will choose this my tree view. So you can see we have the data. Now go back to the code mode. Let me change a couple of things here. All right. So you can see we have a data here. So if you see this guy, if you go to the demo HTML, you can see here. Let's copy this template. Right. Let's copy this template under tree view, right? And then come here and then put it here. If you come to a design, 
I can see here, but I still don't see any data here. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take the field name that is there, which is my skill, S K I double L. So go back to this guy, go to the code and let's replace this S K I double L and like, here we go. But I still don't see the child data here. So what you can do, let's go back to this structure. All right. Let's design, let's map it with a component called if, all right. And go to the code and let's put like this. This. Row dot data dot skill. And I still see, but I don't see. Now go back to code and again copy this OJ bind if put it here. And here let's say email address. So email address is the field which is there in my in my employee table. Employee address. Go to live now. Here we go. All right. Great. I can see my complete review. Now here, I also would like to get the information of a particular employee. So what you can do, let's do one thing. So this does not generate any event. Okay, so you can do this on this. Okay, bind text does not have any event. So what you can do, instead of using that bind text, you can use any other component which can generate event. So let me do one thing. Let me use a hyperlink here and put that hyperlink here. All right, similarly, use that hyperlink here as well. So whatever value you see under that, go to the properties, copy here, go to the hyperlink, and then put it here. All right, and now you can remove that. And same thing for that as well. and remove that one. All right. All right, great. Now on that selection, I would like to show our data of my employee. How can I can do this? So let's go to the design. Let's click here and let's generate an event here. New event, let's say on click. Let's say show details. All right, go to the page designer and here with that event, there is no input parameter. Let's create a input parameter, let's say detail. And let's say it's of any type and create. And with the detail, choose this and use that or let's do this guy. All right. and use that data, current dot data and save. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am going to go back to the action of it and let's use that assign variable and let's assign and let's say create a variable here, let's say first name and create and then under from that detail, detail dot first name. First name is the field name in my business object plus last name dot last name age and then age all right and then save all right now go to the page designer so here you will see this sign action should be there all right, now go to the page designer and let's do one thing. Let's come here. Let's put a form component onto this page. Form component, form layout. Form, form layout and put it here. 
All right, into this home layout, let's try to put some component. Input text. Or let's say first of all text. All right. Input text. Second input text. And one more input text. All right. And here, let's say first name. Make it read only data. Let's say first name. Use second text box. Let's say it's a last name. Use third text box. Let's say this is a age. And go to the general. Let's say age. Read only text here. Let's say last name. And then read only. I would like to show this form only when I when user clicks on a link. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a variable here. Let's say show details. And it should be of a Boolean type. And let me make it false as a default value. Go to the page designer and let's go to the structure and surround this form layout with a if condition and let's say show details. This is not visible, right? So go to the action chain and let's change this variable value, show details to true. All right, save. That's it. Now let's run this page and see. Do you see? So you are able to view the data and you can see the data in a tree view mode. So this is how you can create the tree view component in Visual Builder very easily. That's all about this. I hope you found this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.